let me rearrange this camera here. Okay, as you can see, I've been working on the uh, inside of the bowl. Um, it's just a matter of taking out all the corners that are in here, all the edges. You can still see I've got some right there. Still have to make it make the sides of the bowl thinner. Uh, but it's getting there. You can see the plugs that go all the way through. It's going to be beautiful. I've been using my, I, I had to use a uh, bowl gouge for part of it, which worked pretty good. It caught a few times, but um, everything seems to be going the way it is. It's a lot of noise. That's why I'm not filming much while I'm actually hollowing out the inside of the bowl because it, the vibration makes a lot of noise. And I know y'all couldn't hear me, and that'll never do. But um, we're going to work some more on it, and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, I've about got all the inside um, voids and, and corners turned off. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm getting to the point where I need to start checking it for thickness. And I made my own thickness calipers, just a couple pieces of Luan quarter inch plywood or eighth inch plywood joined at the middle and th I figure if the points touch on this end and they touch on this end then if they're spread apart like that that's the exact same distance here so I've checked and we're down to about the wood started at about one and a eighth inches wide I've got the bowl turned down now it, down at this area is about uh, three quarters three quarters, three quarters. It gets thicker here to probably about an inch. So these last three rings, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down to match the other inside, uh, the, or the deepest part here. And then I'm gonna make sure that all of these little voids are filled. I still see some, like right here, where the dark area is, that's, that's a little bit of a, corner that hadn't been turned out yet. So I'm going to turn just a little bit more. These three need to be turned down to about a half inch, three quarters of an inch and then I'll go back to the outside for the final shaping and turn it even down a little thinner. I'd, I'd like to leave it about a half inch thick. I think that it's a nice thickness for the bowl. But it's going to make a nice bowl to put something big in. That'd be a heck of a bowl of cereal, wouldn't it? But anyway, we'll, um, I'm going to turn some more, and we'll come back. And uh, we'll just have more fun in a few minutes. Okay, I've got the final shape of the outside. Looks. What I do is just cut away everything that doesn't look like I want it to be there. Everything that doesn't look like a bowl, I cut away, and that's how I get my shape. Um, finish the inside. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that there's no ridges or anything like that. You can tell by feel. No high spots or low spots. Pretty much pretty smooth in here. Uh, it's still going to take a lot of sanding, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, and we'll do the outside. We're going to round over these edges here these edges here and we'll round them over and we'll start the sanding process in just a minute and I'll show you how I do that okay we're ready to do some sanding I'm gonna start with the inside of the bowl uh, I'll turn the lathe on not at a real fast speed probably around 200 because I'm starting out with 60 grit uh, I'll run my vacuum so that the dust doesn't get too bad in uh, in here in my shop but I also have my dust, dust mask on but um, you won't be able to hear much because of the vacuum and the drill going but it'll be fun and you'll get the idea so we'll do show you this for just a second okay turn this down to
about 250 is good. Turn on the vacuum and then we're going to start. Excuse me. <laughs> Always do that when you walk in front of somebody. I've gone through 60, 80, and 100 grit paper. Um, I'll be using, going all, all the way down the grits, but this wood is so open grained. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's going to turn out very nice. Very smooth. Smooth. Feels real nice. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some more. I'm using, again, using, still using the drill with the lathe running. And uh, that may be cheating, but I don't care. It's not really cheating. If, it, if I was wanting to do it the way everybody used to do it a long time ago, I'd have a foot-powered lathe. I'd never do this. Okay, we will come back, sand some more, and then we'll start doing the finishing. Okay, I've gone through all the grits, uh, up through 120 with the power drill, power sanding, and then everything else, hand sanding. Um, it came out very, very smooth. Uh, I can tell there's a lot of sap in this wood, uh, by the way. It was heat. The sandpaper was heating up when I was holding it to it, but you can also see it in there. There's, I don't know what that wood is. I hope somebody tells me. I'm probably just going to use uh, multiple coats of paste wax on it. Uh, I doubt. Don't think anybody's going to be using this for any food items. Uh, it's more just a decorative type thing. You can see the dowels on the inside, the grain of that wood. I tried to line the grain of the dowels up of the uh, oak plugs so that it would line up with the grain of the other wood. You see that one is just a little extra touch I like to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the paste wax on it. I'm going to go ahead and finish as much of it as I can. And then I'll go back uh, after I get through with the bowl down to here and the inside to the bottom. We'll take it off and then I'll put the plug in it and sand it off and we'll finish that part. So we'll come back in a little bit 